Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be covering MEPS, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. All right, first up is mechanical. This is our ERV or energy recovery ventilator and it pumps fresh air through these insulated vents, which it captures through these penetrations. And then it pumps it up through our bathroom walls, which you can see the penetrations here in the floor. And this is pumped up into the main living space and the air is also pulled from that space. And these are the metal vents that they added to connect the two through the bathroom wall. They also handled installing our hood vent for the stove. You can see that they have the pipe there. And also our bathroom exhaust. Once that was all done, they moved on to pulling the lines for the mini splits. One of these days we had the HVAC guys and the plumbers on location at the same time and the plumbers were just blasting music. Uh, they were such a vibe. The HVAC guys were just kind of quiet, getting work done, you know, all business. You can see they're pulling the lines all the way from the north side of the building up under where they need to be installed in the bedrooms. So these are the north and south bedrooms going down through the floor. And then this is the penetration for the, the main living area where it's going to be installed on the south wall. Here he's working on the, the drain for the mini split. You'll see in later videos that we actually had to build a soffit here to fit the, the lines and the drains for the bathroom just because that interior wall wasn't big enough. So later on, we decided that the ERV wasn't in a great location in the single car garage, and we actually moved it to the two car against the north wall. This is after all their work's done. We got the vent exhaust hooked up. Mini split lines are ready to go. Both bedrooms and you can see where it penetrates the north side of the ADU. This is jumping ahead a little bit, but they ended up installing metal vents on the ERV uh, in order to get it to pass inspection. And then this is what the inside of the ERV looks like, where you can see it has the opportunity to cross old and new air. Now we're on to plumbing. You can see these are the bathroom penetrations in the floor 
and these are some of the supply lines. And then this is from above. That's the shower. This is the toilet. And you can see some of the vents that they put in place here. Starting to stub out the supply lines and the drain for the vanity. This is the supply water lines for the water heater, and we're also going to have an outdoor spigot here. Here we're at the kitchen sink, and this is the drain that goes down through the floor. The entire unit was plumbed with PEX A, so that's expansion PEX. They have this nice little device that basically spreads that collar, puts it over the pipe, and then attaches fittings to it for all the supply lines. Down here in the two car garage, we had them stub out a sink for us because ultimately we want to have kind of like a wet bar situation down in that, in that garage. There's a door off the main living space that we're going to be using as the laundry. So you can see the drain and supply lines here. This is the little nook for our fridge and that's the water supply line for that. And then this is the bathroom with drains and supply lines all hooked up. Don't mind the mess. Just giving you a little tour to see where that spigot is gonna be installed on the outside of the house. Finally, we're on to electrical. We didn't do anything too crazy with the electrical. You know, typical outlets and can lighting and ceiling. I thought these guys worked really fast. They were always very clean. Just really appreciated the way that they, they did their work. see they're pulling the lines all to the northeast corner of the ADU. We're going to have our panel installed here on the interior wall. see our radon vent and the exhaust fan is connected now.
lots and lots of can lights. And this is where our chandelier will hang in the front foyer area. One thing we hadn't considered when planning this ADU was that we were using such tight setbacks that we wouldn't be able to get the electrical panel on the side of the unit because our fence, which is technically a little bit on our side, would prevent the three foot clearance that we needed for the panel. So we ended up installing it inside and then you can see the guys here pulling wire to the back side uh, facing the alley on the west side of the unit where the meter uh, would be installed. Here you can see them drilling holes and pulling wires for Exterior lights, the ones that go over the garage, go over the entry doors, they go over the bifold doors, just getting all that stuff ready. And then I believe they installed these switches and lights just for being able to test each of the different circuits once everything's hooked up. Uh, but yeah, everything looks super clean. They did an awesome job. Super happy with the work that they did. Jumping ahead, you can see where we put the meter and it's ready to go for once we have the service line. And that's pretty much it. One step closer to completion.